chaining the truck down so nothing is gonna move when we're putting right yep because when we start pulling nothing can move it is gonna move a little bit until the chains got tight you know but it cannot because it's like dangerous shit what I think can happen Something goes wrong. If something goes wrong, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's over. Those are like those trailer things, huh? These are lockdown trailers. If something goes wrong, we'll get it. 
And today is not a good day to die. <laughs> Easter Sunday. <laughs> gonna happen the whole truck is gonna be chained this way right because when we pull forward the chains are gonna hold it back yeah they're gonna hold it back so not to move the whole dead thing everything is done because I don't want them to move You want to go down, don't you, go can, behind. you can do uh, the pain all the way to here. All the way to here. This this you might understand me? Because you yes. said you want to go like that. Already. Yes, this is my next step. Watch okay, out, okay. Watch, watch out, watch out. Don't stay there. Don't stay there because your pump kind of keeps on going. Now the chain is tight. So next thing, the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this chain. I'm gonna move it and I'm gonna bring it over here. that I put over here is like if something breaks kind of just a little safety on that wood um, that wood holds that little chain that is over here oh right? yeah yeah because if that little chain like let's say that branch snap or that branch snap is not gonna fly in your in your in your face yeah. So one very important thing, um, when you're doing such a pull that is gonna be very heavy pulls and stuff, that chain needs to be straight. Not all sideways. It cannot be twisted. Uh, like, 
twisted like that. It cannot be twisted like that. It needs to be straight. That that line over here and these lines, they need to be straight. Because otherwise it's gonna twist. More and, pressure. And on the it. whole thing and the whole thing might go down to hill. <laughs> and you don't wanna go down to hill with it. Pizza pizza. Pizza pizza. So now you understand what I'm doing. Yep. Some you understand what I'm doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> now let me go wash my hands and we we'll hit the pizza and after that. These are the professionals. That's without the torch? Maybe we're gonna have to use the torch a little bit. We're almost there. You see where the hood came? It went down a little. Oh, but that other side isn't bolted to the thing, too. big the bent was yeah you see how small it's now it popped up a little bit it didn't pop up completely though like the only one way how I can pop it up completely is if I torch the whole thing over yeah so the whole thing is gonna bend right yeah that's like super good without heat but well maybe we're gonna have to use heat we'll find out and you see how why I keep those box on the same level you see how the box they're tilting forward yeah it's because like the whole car is tilting right now forward you know those chains on the back they don't let it they don't let the the ass jump up those chains in the front they keep it so the the pool is gonna go forward it's not gonna go over there and i do little by little i don't do much like like you you never do much you do little by little if you see if it's moving you're on the right way if it doesn't move something is wrong you're gonna fuck up the hydraulic or you're gonna fuck up the pole yeah like now well that's what i told you yeah, you called it this is gonna happen Right, this is what I told you. Never stay behind the pole, no matter what. Oh, the chain fell? Huh? The chain? Yeah, it's not. But actually, the chain didn't fail. You know what fell? Oh, the hook. The little bolt that goes through the hook. The little bolt that goes that goes on the end. That yeah. bolt that's over here, this is the thing that fell. That's probably just a little cheapy bolt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These chains, those chains, you can do you can do a 20 ton pull with those chains. And you're not gonna have Huh? You shit? I shit. I it shit. came what? out okay. I'm sorry. I speak Romanian. <laughs> it came out right? Yep, it came out. 
Yep, it came out, and I think it came out more than I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anytime doing something like that, you gotta. So now that baby, this baby, the way you see it, this is bent and it's high, right? Yeah. This crap. So this crap needs to come forward. It needs to go all the way to this hole. It needs to come forward and it needs to go down. Fuck. Right. So this is the next thing that that we're gonna do. Oh, but you could torch oh, yeah, that little part. Because, because I was asking you to. No, no. Because right now, so but now, so now it's very important. So now we're gonna release all the things. We go like we're gonna release them all. So there's gonna be nowhere is gonna be pressure on them. Right. Oop. Okay, so now it's setting up for the pull to pull down. You can see there. Because I do not want to be responsible. Sami, ah. well, you had one big thing. What? Like something that I can push the pedal with from a distance because this is dangerous. Nah, well, that is not dangerous. What are you? Yeah, nah. <laughs> Take a piece of uh, metal or something. <laughs> this, this ja that jack handle over there. This jacket. Don't go behind. I don't go behind. Because that pipe is already bending. I know, but uh, it's not bending. Way too. Aha! Uh -huh. It's not bending, right? Way too. Those bolts are gonna flow away like a bullet. Then let me get the fuck out of here. Oh, get the fuck out of here then. <laughs>
paint the inside of the fender liner. Um, it's not the right color, but it's all we got. I mean, shit, that looks damn close. And it's gonna be on the inside. Hold it like this. Hold it like this. I, I just want to see if everything is going to fit. Corners are good. On this side. Hey, help me. On this side is going to go on the inside. Fuck me. You're fucking perfect. 